June 8th. Lovely sunny morning on Hubbly Big Lake. A little bit of a wind coming up, but the redor is out, and I'm hoping the bog rosemary is out. I heard the loons in the distance, and I'm looking forward to my first paddle of the season. So I put Old Faithful in the water here, 25 kilometers from my doorstep into a wilderness area. So here's the bog rosemary in full bloom. It's lovely leaves. Behind it bloom the Rodora. the tamarack here. Everything I'd hoped for today is in blue. Our native azalea. There's about a dozen native azaleas in eastern North America. It's really the home of them. There's only a couple outside of there, I think. And uh, ours in Nova Scotia, I think, is the most beautiful of them all. Uh, Rodora. Of course, it's the plant that Emerson eulogized. So it's just in, just in full bloom here today. Birds are singing, warblers. this time of year that uh, fill a lot of the landscape here, wettish land, or mountain holly. We've got some mountain holly and then red maple behind it. And it's certainly one of the most abundant shrubs if not the most abundant shrub in the wetter areas of Nova Scotia. Needs a bit more soil than you have in fens and so on, but a little bit of drainage. You see it in a lot of seasonal wetlands. So here we're looking at bayberry, which hasn't leafed out yet. Another very characteristic species in this kind of wettish area by the lake. And there's huckleberry there, which also hasn't really leafed out much yet. here. Red maple.
This uh, lake is all on granite, pretty well granite. And it's a brown water lake. And the humic acid is coming in from the wetlands and the shallow. Some of the spruce, wet spruce forests. Those humic acids actually protect the trout at low pH values. Trout are adapted and somewhere or another the humic acids complex the aluminum and the trout can live in lower pH where there's brown water than where there's not. But they're also specifically adapted. So the, the brook trout in this lake and especially down below in the Woods River are a uh, heritage population of brook trout. And because uh, a kill fishery has been prohibited for some time because of a PCB incident some 15 plus years ago, the trout populations have recovered here like nowhere else in Nova Scotia. At least in uh, maybe from, I'm not sure how much there is in this lake, but there's a lower woods. There's a lot of trout. Lots of people like to fish them, but of course if they did, they'd be gone pretty quickly. And they should really keep them for, I like to think, for future generations. Lovely blueberries in here. Let's try and move in a bit closer on this. Here we have a uh, lovely erratic covered with rock tripe lichen. And oh, lovely blueberries in here. Boy, they're going to be good. And, uh, I guess about the end of July into August. So there, the blueberries were growing out on the drier parts of the rock. I'm pretty happy here just drifting in the wind down the shore other than trying to fight my way across the lake. I could do it, but I just don't have that time to do it today. And really, everything I wanted to see is here. Part of the lake shore. 